Hey guys, it's Andrew here, and today we've got another match day preview. Today we're going to be previewing the Leeds United versus Newcastle United game, St James's Park, Tuesday, 6 o'clock kickoff on BT Sport. Uh, I'm just going to go through some facts, mainly going to have a go at Newcastle United again, because that seems to be what everyone's doing at the minute after the 2 0 defeat against Aston Villa. So we're going to start with Leeds as I always would do. I'll start with the uh, uh, opponents. Um, the last game out was against Brighton a long time ago and they were off colour in a big way uh, in that defeat. Uh, they were well below their usual uh, standards for shots, for sprints, for tackles. Um, it could be a blip, just a little blip. Um, we had Calvin uh, Phillips uh, passing um, due to his suspension. Um, he will be back for this one, they're saying, and he will be likely to run this show in the game. Marcel Bayosa um, Slad scored five goals from having 25 shots on goal in the fixture between these two at Ellen Rome. Um, if, if Bruce gets the better of Bielsa, it'll be a footballing um, madness. It, 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 just, it just does won't happen. Um, I mean, for, for those who just watch Leeds and just want to watch good football, you watch Leeds, you watch Bielsa's football. I mean, let's just say... I'm predicting that Leeds will have 14 more shots than us in this game. 14 more shots on goal. Um, but Leeds, in the last three games, have been poor um, in all competitions by an aggregate score of 7 0. They've conceded 7 without scoring 0. Um, non in the FA Cup against Crawley, when the flipping Crawley brought on Mark right at the end, the last three minutes, that should be an embarrassment for them. They've not lost the last four. Since November 2017, well, they haven't lost as many consecutively without scoring since April 2010. So this is new, poor for Leeds. Obviously, Newcastle much used to this now, but Leeds have been really poor um, recently. The keeper is looking a bit shaky as well. Some of the backs start to lose confidence. Bamford start to lose his touch, as is Wilson. So a little bit mixture on that one. Uh, Leeds United are the only Premier League team yet to score in all competitions in 2021, like I just said. The only previous Premier League side to fail to score in the first four matches in a year was Cardiff City in 2019, who we beat 3 0 around about this time. Um, while the, the last top flight team to fail to score and lose their first four matches in a year was Ipswich Town back in 1970. Now watch that record not be broken because it's Newcastle. Leeds United, everyone knows, are going to be fast, elegant football. We will not be able to keep up the pace because we'll have none. Um, but I'm going to move on to Newcastle now. That's all I want to say on Leeds. Um, it's going to be more about Newcastle in this video. Um, but I'll start with the team news. Um, Federico Fernandes and Paul Dummett both ill. And Kieran Clark has a calf problem. They are expected to miss out while Javier Mikilo, who has made his first appearance since November at Aston Villa on Saturday evening, is a doubt after limping off at Villa Park. Where the fellow fullback DeAndre Yedlin will be unable to play uh, because of an issue of his visa. Uh, Wingers Alan St. Maxima returned as a substitute uh, on uh, Monday uh, or whenever we played Villa Sat Saturday, that's where it was. I'm, I'm losing track of days and games. Um, but he will be starting. Unlikely to start um, in this one after being out for eight weeks with COVID-19. Um, no goals scored recently for Newcastle United. We've not scored since the 2nd of January 2021 against Leicester. Um, no, uh, an average of just nine touches in the opposition box per match. It's one every 10 minutes. That's nowhere near good enough. And you want to move us 23rd so up the uh, pitch, Rissi? Yep, you're doing really well. Uh, we've had 1.6 shots on target. That's just that's one a game, one or two a game. How will we got 19 points? How are we not got zero points? I don't even know. Um, <clears throat> uh, I've never, I've never seen a team like Villa just so comfortable to the lot as they were on Saturday. There's, there's just a lack of spite, spark. Just what Newcastle United used to be back in the day, and the likes of Keegan. Robson, like you know, people like that. It's just got if we went back to them days, we'd be much better. Anyway, obviously, everyone knows Jamie Carragher was on commentary and does a um, um, Sky Sports punditry. He says, Carragher said, The end must be near for Bruce on Tyneside. If things continue in the same vein, the underlying numbers and performance and data are now catching up with him. And the last thing they need, right, 
is now a team like Leeds on the doorstep, full of energy, forward, forward thinking players. He's completely right. I mean, Newcastle United are looking to avoid losing both home and away Premier League games against newly promoted clubs for a season for only the third time, previously doing it against Charlton in 2000-2001 season and against Watford in the 2015-16 season, which in the 2015-16 season, guess what? We got relegated. And what else happened? Rafa Benitez was brought in too late. A little bit of deja vu? Let's see what we are in May. Uh, Newcastle United have also kept one clean sheet in the last 13 games, uh, winning three, drawing four, losing six. With the coming goalless draw against Liverpool being the last one, the Magpies have kept four consecutive clean sheets at St James's Park before this run. It ain't good enough, and it's just I mean, Newcastle have managed 9.1 shots per game in the Premier League, and it's, it's 72 shots. In nine games, on target and off target, it's just not good enough. We're averaging about nine shots a game. Like for Newcastle, it should be 15, 16, 17. If we want to play attacking football, 15, 16, 17 is the limit of shots. I mean, uh, Newcastle United manager Steve Bruce, positive now, has never lost a home match against Leeds in his managerial career. There's a first! Here's the first, he's going to lose the Leeds at home, isn't he? He's played 7 1 5, drawn 2. Facing no side more without losing at a home in the league. Uh, and then he also, in his press conference today, only took four reporters. He took uh, Keith Downey, uh, two BBC reporters, and someone called Steve. I don't know what, which one it was. But the written reporters called this club shocking. It's shocking. It's it, called it shocking, man. It's from the hierarchy. Uh, Mike Ashley, Lee Charnley, both bold muppets. They might as well. I know Mike Ashley's not bold, but he might as well be bold. And it's it's just shocking. You don't have the answers, Bruce. And you need to just l leave the club now. You just need to go. And I'm sorry if, if anyone is Bruce in. You're deluded. How can you be Bruce in now after ten games without a win? Not one. For about flipping a month and a week against West Brom. And that was shocking performance. The last time I actually remember a good performance was Everton 2-1. That was back in October, November before the lockdown came in. In November. We are the worst club in the Premier League. And I'm telling you now. Worst run, worst training sessions, worst coaches, worst managers, worst, worst mentality. It's just... A disgrace of the club at the minute and it's just hard to watch this and just think yeah it's gonna improve it's just not never gonna improve never gonna improve under Bruce he's never gonna improve actually Jamie Carrigan makes a good and uh, not Carrigan Redknapp makes a good point might get a new manager yes but no one is gonna back Ashley no Ashley will never back a manager and until we he leaves and the problem is, no one's going to buy with Bruce in charge. So we need to sack the manager. If you want to sell, you sack the manager. That's it. That's my thoughts on the preview. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.